A brain aneurysm is a focal outpouching on the wall of the blood vessel that is a weak spot that is prone to possibly breaking and bleeding. When that happens, uh, the patient would often experience, quote unquote, the worst headache of their life. Sometimes they might have some nausea and vomiting or some visual problems associated with that. It's a medical emergency. There are two main treatment options for an aneurysm that has bled. One is surgical clipping. The other method, which is what neurointerventional radiologists do, is where we go from inside the blood vessels and we place a small plastic tube called a catheter. Uh, we can thread that through the blood vessels directly into the aneurysm. And then through this tube, we can place some fine metal coils to basically fill and plug up the aneurysm so that it doesn't bleed anymore. Angioplasty and stenting of the arteries in the head and neck is predominantly used to treat atherosclerotic disease. And atherosclerotic disease is the process where you get the buildup of plaque inside the arteries that cause a narrowing and restrict the flow of blood to the brain. And so what you would want to do is to try to open up that blood vessel to increase the blood flow. A newer procedure is where you go in from inside the blood vessel and again you insert a small plastic tube attached to that tube may be a balloon that you can insert in the area of narrowing and you, you would inflate the balloon and open up that area of narrowing. In addition, you can place a small flexible metal tube, it's called a stent, that would be placed in the area of narrowing to help hold the blood vessel open after you open it up with a balloon. The other very common procedure that the neurointerventionalist performs is the treatment of spinal compression fractures. Spinal compression fractures are very common and they can be quite painful. The procedure involves uh, placing a needle uh, into your back in the area of uh, the fracture and using x-ray guidance uh, we would place that needle. Once the needle is in place you can inject bone cement into that fracture uh, to stabilize it and to hopefully take away the pain. In the past, many of these conditions were only able to be treated by open surgery. Now with the neurointerventional radiologist, he or she can treat a wide variety of conditions in a minimally invasive fashion.